Get ready to enter the vortex. The anal retentive housewife starring Today's episode, Screenshots. And welcome to another episode of The Anal Retentive Housewife. I am Vandita, The Anal Retentive Housewife. Today's episode is called Screenshots, and we're going to do a very minor repair of a screen on a window on a door. Uh, it sounds more complicated than it is, but I've decided to do more project oriented work because uh, I might have an expanded audience due to the fact that a lot of people are uh, gainfully unemployed at home and you can only watch so many hours of Comedy Central before you memorize every single Saturday Night Live show out there and you know all their theme music like do 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 you know and um, you know they just don't show Jon Stewart enough so you know got to do something with your free time. So cleaning and organizing are two really, really good things to do. And also if you do a repair on your home, um, save the receipts and uh, you can use it when you sell your home to reduce the basis. Okay, so um, this is the uh, blind and it's filthy, so don't look at it. Luckily you can't tell because everything else is filthy too. But, we're going to open it, da -da -da. oops, there's the backyard, woo! We're slowly migrating to the outside, we'll be the anal retentive outside of Housewife, very soon. Anyway, it's a very small window. What I noticed though, is that this season we've had a rather large influx of, of uh, was it arachnid, arachnids, something like that, um, and I'm arachnid phobic. So, um, and I don't like them because they give me the creepy crawlies and I'm almost like, is that a hair or is that, you know, bug? Okay, so uh, what I've done, first of all, is I did clean this a few weeks ago, but we might need to do a cleaning refresher just in case. So I brought all my supplies for that and I got some screen, woohoo, from Posh. And let's see, I have a timer. Hopefully I'll learn how to read and tell time. Okay. And, let's see, I have these fun little things called, um, hmm, what's it called? Spline. Could you spline the spline for me, please? Okay, it's called spline, and it's this little rubbery thing that goes around the screen to keep it in place. And what will happen over time is that your spline will get hard and brittle and even if you clean it, it will easily break and so you need to re-spline the screen. Say that ten times. Um, and that's how the little spideys was getting in. Um, okay, so there's the screen is kind of weird, so you can do it two different ways. up or down um, but this is the part we're concentrating on and I can see already it's a little dirtier than it used to be um, and I got two different kinds because I didn't know the size and I didn't want to deal with measuring and going back to the store I hate not having everything I need right at hand that's why I have a lot of stuff in stock okay see so, I'm still here I got for a quick fix of clean Oops. Some uh, wipies. These are from glass cleaner wipies. Now, there's a lot of things that have been wipeified, and we'll probably do a show on wipies later because there's so many things that have been wipied. It's excellent. And remember, toilet, uh, flushable toilet wipes are to wipe the toilet, not to wipe your seat on the toilet. Get it? Okay. Don't uh, get any toxic fumes down there in the nether areas. So, we're just going to take a wipe and uh, we want to clean the edge. Because we always want to be thorough about every cleaning job we do. And this is great too because then there's no lint 
from uh, the Mr. Brawny paper towels. Oh, you might have noticed. Are you wearing a Mr. Clean t-shirt? Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Do, 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 do. I actually don't use it, but I thought the t-shirt was cool. And I got a Mr. Clean doll, which is even more excellent from their website, Procter & Gamble. And it's really cool. So I think my number is 21,000 and some, because each are individually numbered. So there's about 80,000 more you can buy, because there's only 100,000 of the Mr. Clean dolls that are going to be made. You want to get your collector's item now, so you can sell it on eBay. It's sort of insurance for when you have no job. Okay, so clean and clean, and we're not going to pay too much attention to this part, because it's not relevant to the task at hand. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do first? I forgot to use the vacuum duster. easy to lose so I'm not sure what the point is and these get really cold so be careful and you know I brought gloves and I didn't wear them yet so maybe I'll don them later anyway so make sure this is on nice now you're saying well I could get a contractor because gee I got money in my 401k to burn or I got the whopping uh what is it 300 and some odd bucks of unemployment but you got to pay taxes on all that, and plus this is more fun and occupies time, and you're not watching television or sleeping with Sammy the cat. Okay, so now we're going to wipe you again. And, uh, you know, if you want to do a contractor, that's fine, but you know something? It does not hurt to attempt it yourself first, because then you'll sound oh so much more intelligent when you speak to the contractor, and uh, they'll know that you know your stuff your screen stuff. Maybe I should call this show Screen Savers. But we're not saving the screen, we're replacing it. So it'd be the replacement screeners. And yeah, if I was going to do the whole house, I would have somebody do it who is professional. Okay, now we're going to open the door because the screen's actually on the other side. Oh, now you're not going to be able to see me though. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll pull this out real quick and then we'll go back inside. So, here is yonder spleen. The spleen, the spleen. And this is the screen. The screen, the screen. I'm going to take that out. And we're going to finish our wipification process. And just because we're here, we're going to go ahead and clean the top window, just because it's a nice thing to do. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Oh, we might need to get some uh, cyanoacrylate, otherwise known as uh, super glue. Now the neighbors can hear me doing my show. Because uh, one time my neighbor like, was like, I saw you on TV. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, and speaking of people who saw me, uh, shout out to Harlow. Hey, Harlow. Hope you're doing well. He ran into me at the Osh and I could not, he looked familiar. I could not remember where I see him because I see so many people. And so I said, hey. And then, um, let's see, I saw Dottie at the... Uh, yarn store in Los Altos. That was pretty cool too because I was like, I know her, but I don't know where from because I have so many different uh, personalities that I, uh, uh, different roles I assume. Anyway, I finally remember that I didn't say hi because I couldn't remember who she was or where I knew her from. Okay, so that's all done. I'm going to clean this because I don't like to touch dirty things. And I should have brought lotion to moisturize my hands before I put the gloves on. But, anyway, so let's look at which spline is the right spline. Okay, 
This one looks to be the right one. Ooh, but they're so close. Hmm. This is very confusing to me. Oh, you know something? If you go to the store and they ask it to help you in like a bad condescending way, you can just say, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. So, and they won't bother you. It's usually they're pretty nice though, I've found. And sometimes you just, you can you totally close and they're trying to help you out. They're like, do you know what this is? Could you help me? And then they're pretty friendly. Okay, so it looks like this is the right spline. So we'll put that one away so I don't confuse myself. I'm very easily confused. Okay, and we'll uh, cut off a length of this. That sounds so official, doesn't it? I better look at my watch. God, I talk a lot, don't I? I'll never get this done. And because I'm prone to making mistakes, we're going to cut off some extra. And snip, cut the cord. And we're going to toss that to the side. Okay. It's also a good way for me to know which is the old one and which is the new one. They were, oops. They were splines apart. The spline king. Okay, so this is the old one. Put that away. It's like a snake. Woo! Okay. Uh, now I want to measure this. And what I brought with me is some gel ink pen, which I really like the gel ink pen. It's kind of like a Sharpie, but jellier instead of felt. Um, and some, woo, neon bright index cards. And write very neatly. Uh, door to back yard screen measurement. What I'm starting to do actually is keep a uh, little binder of measurements around the house so I know what things are. Um, you know, like uh, comforters, tables, um, which is useful because I cannot convert from feet to e yards and inches and stuff, but this I have written down. And it makes life so much easier. And you know, I don't like what I wrote here, so I'm going to rewrite it. Okay. And we want to write in um, small caps, door to, or all caps. Green measurement. Yeah, last week I was uh, helping out some, um, uh, they call them vulture capitalists. And these Dorkelsons, like, they were oh so excited because they were like, oh, your handwriting is so neat. Because I had to send out a wire transfer. Like, Oh, that's so neat, thanks. It doesn't take much to impress these people, does it? And yet they clearly don't listen when you talk because all they're thinking of is how they're going to respond and say no. You know, there must be 50 ways to say no to a young entrepreneur. And now it's come time for me to have beverage. It's so hot. Totally so hot. Thought the weather here was supposed to be temperate, which means like crappy. But now it's hot like LA, but there's no AC like in LA. What are you gonna do? Okay. And look, I'm so prepared. I better be quicker, huh? Tape measure. And I like this and not the measuring tape that the contractors have because first of all, this is smaller and it can fit nicely in your purse and discreetly in your purse. Uh, but second of all, it's easier to read. And I never trust those things because they like they spring back, and then you're kind of like, you know, reeling from the ricochet effect. You're like, whoa, whoa. Um, this is much easier, and it's the same inches of measurement. Okay. Oh, I have to open the door again to do this. I'm sorry.
We want to measure the outside where the spline would go around, because the end, uh, obviously, certainly beyond that as well. So the actual spline part is it's eighteen and seven eighths or sorry ten and three quarters inches by 18 and 7 8 inches. He always put the lower number first. I'm not quite sure why. And when you do it with this kind of tape, just make sure it's totally outstretched as across the bottom. I take several measurements, so because uh, they may not have manufactured the door quite properly, you know. And then we're gonna we're gonna want to have to. Uh, oh, that was a bad sentence. We want to have enough extra. So I'm just going to measure along here because this seems to be an easy, nice thing to do. So let's see. So that's 20 and 5 eighths. Ooh, shoot. Whoa. I almost made a major mistake. <sighs> Which I will not share with the audience. I can't remember anything for more than half a second, so I have to remeasure this part terribly. Sorry. We'll just say 13 and a half. Actually, no. 13 and 5 eighths. So, cut for. Okay. And just to make sure we're kind of on target, oh, and here's a mistake I made. <laughs> I guess I'll confess. I was using this as part of a measurement, which I'm glad I saw now, because yesterday, last night, I was measuring a lot of uh, picture frames for artwork from my mother, and I included this, which I believe is an inch, um, but I'm not sure. Okay, here's a joke for you. How come uh, MIT girls can't do math? Because they've always been told that this is six inches. <laughs> okay, that's because that's my alma mater. And it's also my spousal unit's alma mater. So, let's see, they cut it at about 11 by... So I'm giving about an extra inch just to be on the safe side. And when you cut, you want to make sure you cut along the grain, which these people didn't do. And you also notice that this is kind of brittle and kind of uh, dusty. But that happens. But see where it started to break also? That's mostly because I cleaned it and I put it back and I guess I used more force than I knew I had. Um, so you want to have a lot of give in the fabric when you're putting it back in. So let's uh, cut off the, uh, the screen. And the spine we've already cut off, and we'll just cut off the absolute end when we, uh, you know, border the uh, the screen. Okay. You can buy rolls of these at the posh, and we could probably take the measurements here, and maybe we don't have to cut as much. Yeah, we don't need to cut on this side, I don't think. Let's see if we can wait to do that till later. So we'll just do this one, which is 13 and a half. And this was on a roll, I just cut this part off. And the reason I bought the roll, because you never know when you might need more, so might as well just have it. I mean, it's not like a huge inlay of cash. Besides, I charged it anyway. 
<laughs> and I got my scissore. And these are better because they cut across, you know, like straight uh, instead of the diagonal way. Okay. Now you can't tear it like fabric, but you want to do the same kind of philosophy. And that is, don't cut like all diagonal. Cut between the two black lines, uh, the little squares. Yeah, I bet Bob Vila don't do this as neatly. Anyway, it's kind of hard because the screen meshes all together. Yeah. And if you have like um, screen material, you probably want to lay it flat so it doesn't roll up on you later. It's kind of hard for me to see right now exactly what I'm cutting. Okay, now which piece was the piece I wanted to work with? Probably the smaller. Whoa, trippy. Okay. So now, I suppose we should trim it down a little bit more. So, okay, the biggest problem with this thing is that I don't have a holster for this kind of tape, so I probably need to work on getting some kind of, uh, uh, toolkit belt, but trust me, it'll be totally fashionable, and you could probably even wear it outside. Icky. Oh, see how this was cut originally? It's kind of all skankified, so that's not, you know, something we want to have. So, let's trim it in just a wee bit. It would help if I had a cutting board and a mat here, wouldn't it? Now why do we want it to be perfect? Because first of all, it's our work that we're doing, and because if you have to see that thing every day and you know you did it wrong, uh, I won't be able to sleep. I'll have to go back like, oh, fridge. I'll have to redo it. See, now isn't that much nicer than what they had cut? Yes. Okay. So, whoa, I think I'm out of time. But, very quickly, we'll open the door again. Cutting does take a while, though. And patience is a virtue. We're going to lay it like this. And then we're going to start somewhere in the middle of our thread. Okay. And basically we're going to keep the screen straight while we put this around it. Um, this is probably the most difficult part of it. You need to make sure that the door isn't going to keep moving forward on you. <laughs> and you want to make sure that all the holes line up nicely. And they will bunch up in the corners just a bit. And then to get it stuck in here, you kind of need to use your nails. Be sure to provide lots of give here.
But see what I mean? It's not the easiest thing to do. <sighs> but, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Plus, I have to go to dinner with my parentals at Get This Planet Bollywood. It's some sort of like ethnic dorkmund restaurant on the other side of the bay. So, hopefully, nobody will see me that I knew. But, uh, it's the end of summer almost. Uh, so, take care. Um, the weather's finally cooling down, so you'll be able to do projects during the daytime instead of in the middle of the night, like I've been doing. Um, probably my neighbors think I'm really weird. They're like, what'd she do all day? <laughs> and I'm like, sleep with Sammy. Anyway, um, so, uh, have a nice, uh, time doing this. Uh, obviously if you have any technical questions, or not, uh, feel free to send me an email, vandita at vandita.com. Uh, and believe it or not, vandita.com is an actual website with pictures of stuff and a real web address. Until next time, I'm Vandita, the anal retentive housewife, saying it's not just a show, it's a way of life.